So you have gratitude. And then you have imagination. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So with this gratitude, um, somebody is in this energy. Um, this could be you. You know, it says, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. You're someone that is very grateful. You're someone that's very thankful. Um, you could have went through a lot of lessons, but um, you could have went through a lot of lessons. You could have went through a lot of, you know, confusion. But you've worked your way up out of that confusion and you're thankful, you know, of that. It's like you show gratitude to yourself. And it says, you know, I embrace and, and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Feels like you're embracing yourself and just being thankful for life. Forgiveness is here. I acknowledge that, you know, harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So you're someone that's very forgiving. You're someone that does not hold grudges against people. You know that, you know, that's only going to have you blocked off. From being able to manifest anything, not only just love. Growth is here, yeah. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So you're someone that is focusing on growth. Service is here. I feel good when I can help others. You're someone that likes to help people and you feel good just helping people. You're the type of person that helps someone and you don't expect anything in return. Also, it could be somebody wants your forgiveness. Somebody could have been, you know, in an imagination or they could have been confused. And this could be someone that, you know, they want your forgiveness. This person could want to expand their consciousness and their awareness, you know, by looking at you, things that you have went through, what you have overcome. The lovers is here. And then courthouse is here. So somebody could be setting their self free from something. And um, this could be a court situation with courthouse being here. The lovers is here. This could be someone that has emotions for you or um, they have a spiritual connection with you. Yeah, it's like you and this person could have went through a lot. And um, with courthouse being here, justice is being served. Like something is being set free. You could have set yourself free from something. That person could be setting their self free from something or have set their self free from something. Mature woman is here. And mature man, yeah. So these are definitely two people that have matured. And this could be you and that person. House is here. And then main female is here. Gift in the reverse. Wow. So whoever this part, I'm so done. This person was in some, they were in some type of home situation or something like that. And it's like this person, they, they couldn't manifest. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the gift in the reverse. 
they could manifest around whoever this person is. The spares on the bottom of the deck. It's like they could have tried to help this person or something like that. They could have helped this person get out of a, you know, situation and had this person in their home or was trying to help this person get stable. But they're realizing that whoever this person is is someone that, that's not abundant. They don't have any abundance. This person is just not gifted. If they are gifted, they don't use their gifts in a positive way. And this is someone that's very immature. So this person could be someone that's very young-minded. Yeah. So they were in a, you know, situation or something like that with someone that was, that took, you know, snatched their abundance straight from them, gift in the reverse. They weren't able to be gifted with abundance. Because this is someone that they, you know, shouldn't have been um, attached to. Because you, the mature man and the mature woman, these two are matches. This is the lover's connection. Whoever this main female is, this is someone that is, um, they're not this person's match. They're not this person's equal. So it's like, there was no equal give and take. They weren't going to be able to have abundance with this person. They needed to mature and free themselves from some type of situation. Five of Cups is here. And then Journey is here. Yeah, somebody is definitely in regret. Because you could be someone that, you know, you made some type of change. You forgave whatever you went through. And um, you have grown. You were able to move forward. But somebody did not know, like this mature man or this mature woman, take away resin, they did not know that their abundance was being taken from them. Yeah, you could be getting ready to move forward. You could be getting ready to get in a relationship, a commitment, or a marriage. And somebody is definitely concerned. Wow. Occupation. I mean, uh, <laughs> message of concern is here. As occupation is, you know, right behind that. But this person is concerned. Whoever this person is, they just realize this is someone that they, you know, they can't get have any abundance around. This person was placed around them so they could mature. Courtship is here. Yeah, they could be concerned about you getting in a relationship with someone else if they know you have a spiritual connection with them. Expectation is here. This could have been somebody that thought that you would be in this expect expectation energy, like, you know, at a stalemate. Child is here. And then toil and labor is here. Sudden wealth is here. Wow. So, thief on the bottom of the deck. The way this person ended up, you know, having this person stable, getting this person in a home, this person could have been expecting a child or something like that, like waiting to have a child. And it's like this person could be someone that was expecting to gain some type of sudden wealth. And they would, you know, steal something. The thief is here. But it's like whatever they were expecting to get, that person, this mature man or mature woman, is not getting this gift. That they were expecting to steal. And they were working hard, toiling labor. Like, they figured this person would work on a situation with them, you know, if they said that they were expecting this person's child. Wow. But this person is in despair. Yeah, imprisonment is here. This was, this was a plan to have this person feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Because they thought they were going to be, you know, this was easy. They'll be able to steal from this person. They'll tell this person they're pregnant by them. This person will want to work with them or work hard on a situation with them, on a home situation. Like, 
you know, a family situation, a relationship, <laughs> possible marriage. <laughs> oh, so dumb. This is sad. Privileged lady is here. Yes, yeah, like they want this person to respect them. They want this person to, you know, have them in this energy where they didn't have to work. They want that person to work hard and they, you know, figure that they would have this person working hard if they, you know, had them stuck, you know, by trapping this person with the child. Privileged lady is here, an official person is here, pathway is here. So this is somebody that knew that this person was, um, you were this privileged lady. You're someone that works very hard. They, this person could have been someone that was um, intimidated by you. They could have knew that this person was coming towards you. Pathway. So they came to this person to hold them off. Expectation is here. And they could have, you know, said that this was this person's child or they were expecting a child. So this person could want to work on something with them. For this child is what they wanted this person to believe. But in reality, this person has the mind of a thief. This person is someone that intentionally wanted this person to be, you know, in prison, stuck. But what they did not know is that this person would not be able to have this abundance that they thought they were going to have, you know, steal, not have to work for. This person is seeing you as someone that's an official person. Yeah, thoughts is here. You're the, you're the only person this person have been thinking about as they've been, you know, under this judgment. This person could have them in bad health or they could have gotten sick while they were attached to whoever this person is. Yeah, this is a false person that this wealthy man was attached to. This person could have had a lot. You know, this person could have, you know, they could have had financial... A lot of finances when they connected with this person. But this person thought that they would be getting some type of sudden wealth. And they would be able to, you know, have some type of control over, have this person stuck, and they would use a child. This person was not gifted, you know, whatever gift that God wanted to give that person, it was taken away. Because whoever the mature man is, they were learning lessons and did not know this was a false person. That only, you know, wanted whatever they can give them. They wanted sudden wealth. Yeah, it's like you're over here. You're this official person. This wealthy man is over here with this false person. And they've been just sitting back thinking about you while they've been in bad health and under judgment. Yeah, it's like you're, you went towards a whole nother direction. You could be on a journey. You took a leap of faith towards walking in your calling, your purpose, and they're in regret. Because they got in a relationship with someone that uh, was a false person. Now they're concerned about you getting in a relationship with someone that's um, that's going to be, you know, commitment for you. You're going to manifest equal give and take. Somebody that you'll be able to trust. Seven of Swords is here. So whoever this person is, this is the type of person, this, this false person. This is the type of person that do stuff in a sneaky, deceptive way. And they have other people, you know, wanting to do the same thing. You know, they, they'll encourage other people to do bad things. Because they feel like they done got away with so much. So they have other people looking at them like, dang, you did all that. I wish I could do that. And wish, you know, wishing... That they could be in this seven of swords energy. This is the type of person that this false person is. You know, they make people believe that whatever they're doing, that is false. And they'll encourage them, you should do it too. I, it's because they're used to getting away with something. But somebody did not know that this will come back on them. And they will be left in despair. They will be under judgment. Seven of Cups is here. Wow. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups. Something backfired. 
It's like they set something up behind the scenes and they had some confusion going on for a long time. Like they had this person confused. This could have been multiple, pe multiple people that they had confused as well. And it backfired. Seven of Wands is here. Somebody really thought that this would never come back on them. They were so used to getting away with a lot of stuff. But whatever they did, when they did this, this immediately backfired. Nine of Wands is here. Now they're sitting back nervous. It's like they're feeling guilty. Yeah, because you're in this Empress energy. It's like you're being your authentic self. You're sitting back manifesting. You're prospering. And you're just attracting whatever it is that you want out of life. If this is somebody that they were trying to keep you, um, like trying to have that person stuck so they wouldn't come towards you and have this abundance and be gifted or have sudden wealth, you weren't even paying attention to that person. It's like you could have knew that, you know, you have a spiritual connection with that person, but they're, you know, in this imprisonment energy with a false person. What could you do besides go towards a whole nother direction and continue to manifest what's, um, you know, best for you, what's going to come in for you? Because it's like, you know your worth. You know who you are. Yeah. And somebody is sitting back nervous because you're being seen for who you are. Page of Cups is here. And then you have Page of Wands and the Star card is here. Page of Swords and the Magician. So somebody definitely been watching you manifest. You're in this magician energy. You're someone that um, has control of your own life, your future. And you're manifesting whatever it is that you want for your life. You've been just minding your business and focusing on yourself. Focusing on moving forward or you just moved on. Somebody wants to apologize. Page of Cups. The star card is here in Page of Wands. High Priestess is here. Three of Cups is here. So somebody is hiding the fact that they want to reconcile with you or something like that. Yeah, they found out the truth. Ace of Swords is here. It's like they've gained some type of truth and clarity and they want to reconcile with you, reconnect with you. Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, they want to reconnect with you. After realizing they were attached to some type of false person. Ace of Cups is here, Two of Swords is here, and Six of Swords is here. This person feel like they were blinded from the truth. By the time they found out the truth, you had to already move forward. Six of Swords. The hair fun is here. And then the world is here. So yeah, this person was definitely in some type of commitment, a marriage. They could have married this person. Thinking that this person was somebody that was expecting their child or something like that. But this was a setup. This person could be in this energy where they don't even want you to know any of that. They want to come toward you. This person is in love with you. They know that you're their true love, but they do not want you to know whatever took place in this cycle that's being completed. Yeah, this was a toxic karmic cycle that needed to end out. The devil, it's like they were tied to the devil and they didn't know. And it was just keeping that person in this imprisonment energy, not being able to have any abundance, not being able to grow, just staying stuck in the imagination. Wow. Six of Wands is here. Eight of Wands is here. And then the Chariot. Yeah, this person wants to move forward in life. It's like they want to... Um, 
It's like they're coming towards you. Eight of Wands, the Chariot, Six of, six of Wands. And it's like they want to have victory and success. Now that this person has matured or learned some type of lessons, this person needs to forgive whoever this person is. Whoever this person is that, um, you know, did this to them, the best thing to do is forgive and move forward. Because harboring resentment, that's only going to block them off. That's only going to keep blocking them from having true love, manifesting true love, or manifesting anything that they want in a positive way. You know, accept it as a lesson and move on. Especially if they were genuinely thinking that they were helping this person. And this could, this is how they got this person. This is someone that, you know, they like to help people. They feel good when they can help somebody. But they got tricked. This was deception. Now that they're realizing the truth, you know, they were in a karmic cycle that needs to end out. Because this person was committed to the devil. And did not know. Three of Swords is here. Somebody is depressed or heartbroken. Queen of Swords is here. Somebody is depressed and heartbroken because this person could have distanced themselves from them, cut them off. And they're moving forward. It's like they found out the truth. Now they're in regret because something did not go how they, you know, wanted it to go. Knight of Wands is here. And Three of Pentacles is here. So this person was collaborating with somebody else behind the scenes. They slept with somebody else and, um, you know, wanted to pin this pregnancy on, some, on this person. Wow. And the person that they were sleeping with, they knew that that person was trying to pin that per the pregnancy on that person. So it's like this was a setup, a scheme. Two different people were setting somebody, you know, up. This was a plan. You know, go in, have sex with this person, trap this person, make this person think that you're pregnant by them. Because they were going to steal some type of sudden wealth from this person, but that person did not get that sudden wealth. They didn't get this um, this gift or abundance that they thought this person was going to have. This person could have lost their job or lost, you know, a lot of finances being attached to this person. God is not going to allow you, even if you're asleep, to be attached to someone that's trying to deceive you, trying to have you stuck, trying to steal from you. No, you're not going to be able to have anything. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to that. When you're attached to different people and they do negative things, they're always stealing. They're always, you know, doing stuff, lying, cheating people out of stuff. As you're attached to that person, especially in a relationship, you can't have anything. That person is wrapped up in something. It's like you're wrapped up in it, too. You're a burden, too. Ten of Wands is here. You done picked up this person's karma. You done picked up that person's burdens. Even if you don't do, you know, don't get down how they get down. But you're attached to that person. That karma come back on you too. Five of Pentacles is here. And King of Swords is here. The Hermit is here. And then the Moon card is here. Wow. Two of Pentacles is here. So what? This person could have literally been attached to two different people. If they, if this, this false person was not sleeping with the other person, it was two different people that were trying to trap this person with a child. Two of Pentacles is here. So they could have been sleeping with two different people, going back and forth between two different people. They clicked up behind the scenes. Three of Pentacles is here. These were Knight of Wands energies. People that they were just having sex with. This probably wasn't even a relationship because this is someone that's a Knight of Wands type of person. They could just go around, you know, without even thinking, just sleeping with multiple people. Two of these people clicked up behind the scenes and went against this person. And they had this part. They were going back and forth between this person, plotting and scheming, you know, to set this person up, 
have this person feeling trapped. And this was a secret. Both of these people, these could be two different pregnancies. Whoever this person is, this is somebody that ghosted you. They didn't want you to know any of this. Because two different people could have called this person, hey, I'm pregnant. And they were, you know, plotting behind the scenes, but they didn't know. Whoever this king of swords is that this is yourself from you. These are two people that they were supposed to leave out in the cold. Now they feel left out in the cold from you because they don't find out about this spiritual connection. Yeah, they found out you're their twin. Four of Wands is here. And then the Emperor is here. These are people that could have knew that this person was a twin. And they were planning to, you know, stay attached to this person, thinking that they would gain some type of sudden wealth. They had a child with this person or made this person believe that they were pregnant. They would be attached to some type of sudden wealth. That person was not gifted anything. God was not finna give this person anything around these false people. Seven of Pentacles is here. And five of Wands is here. These are two different people that could have been sitting back, you know, secretly competing with you for a long time. Secretly trying to one-up you. Doing a whole bunch of stuff to send negativity to you because they knew that you were that person's twin. And they're sitting back fighting for something for a long time that they weren't going to get anything out of or gain anything. These people had them place some type of illusion over their self and did not know, especially if they were playing with spell work over this person like sex magic. To get this person to chase them down, lust after them, hold them in high honor, want to work on something with them or have them stable. That person was in an illusion too. I'm so done. It's like three people were in an illusion and a confusion. Four of cups is here, six of cups is here, and then the sun card is here. Now that this has been revealed and exposed, they want to come toward, you know, come back towards you, but they feel like they're going to be rejected. This person could be afraid of being rejected. They could feel insecure. This person is unhappy about whatever they did. Yeah, because this only brought judgment to them. Wow. King of Pentacles and Three of Wands is here. Six of Pentacles and then Ten of Swords. If this is somebody that betrayed you or did something to backstab you, that just came back on that person. This per person could have literally made a decision and they took a hit financially. King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles. And that came right back to them. Now they could be in this Four of Pentacles energy while they're realizing all of this. Because a lot of people do stuff daily. And they'll do something to people, you know, people that have not did anything. They borrow money from people. They take from people. They steal from people. They talk about people in a negative way. And it never comes back is what they don't, you know, they're not paying attention to it because they're in a, um, a confusion, an illusion. But if this person was your twin, it immediately came back, like equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is here. And they did not expect this. The Will of Fortune is here. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. So it's like the tables turn. If somebody stole something from you, took something from you, did something bad to you to betray you, you only gain that tenfold. Ten of Pentacles, the Will of Fortune is here. And um, whatever they did to you, they only gained that tenfold, you know, deception. This is what they gained. Tenfold. But they did not know. They weren't paying attention. This person was in a knight of wands energy, easy to be confused, easy to be tricked. And they weren't mature enough to, you know, be able to discern. Be able to, you know, put someone in their place that is getting ready to cause deception to them. They, it's like they weren't 10 steps ahead of whoever these two people are. These people were in an illusion and confusion, thought they were 10 steps ahead of this person. And they weren't even 10 steps ahead of, you know, there's no one. 
I'm so done. The strength card is here. And then Queen of Pentacles is here. Yeah, whatever betrayal was done to you, whatever was done to backstab you, betray you, it has only made you grow. It has only gave you more strength to work hard. Queen of Pentacles is here. Focus on whatever it is that you want out of life. Focus on, on your stability. Growing your stability. Being prosperous. And it pushed you to move forward. Queen of Cups is here. And then Four of Swords is here. King of Wands is here. And then Temperance is here. Yeah, so now this person wants to get away with you or come towards you to balance something out. After realizing, um, if they betray, if this is somebody that betrays you, they're realizing why they got betrayed. Now they want balance. The Fool card is here and King of Cups is here. Yeah, so they're going towards a whole nother direction than what they were on. Justice is here. And an Eight of Pentacles is here. In order to bring in justice for their self, this person needed to work on their self a lot. person feel like the only way that they're going to have justice is if they work with you. Eight of Pentacles is here. Nine of Pentacles is here. And then Knight of Swords is here. But this person got two different people around them that are trying to slow them down. It's like these same two people could be pissed off and mad. Or these could be two other people. Take it where it resonates. They're trying to slow this person down from coming towards you to have this Ace of Pentacles because they know this person is not getting this Ace of Pentacles unless they come towards you with the spiritual connection. One person is just pissed off, raging around. Another person is, you know, constantly trying to slow this person down from moving forward, distract this person. This is sad. Page of Pentacles is here. These are people that are very childish. Eight of Cups is here. Eight of Swords and then Five of Swords is here. Yeah, to, the plan to have somebody in this Eight of Swords energy, it didn't work. There literally could be a child involved and this person feel trapped. Yeah, somebody could feel like they sabotaged yourself and you had an Eight of Cups <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, because somebody was slowing this person's finances down. Another person was just intentionally like out of hatred. Trying to stop this person. Doing stuff repulsively. This person feel defeated. Ace of Wands is here. Or you know this could have been some. You know whoever the person is that was trying to trap this person. They got caught. This person done walked away. They feel defeated. Ace of Wands is here. And then the Death card is here. Whatever they did, like whatever they decided to do, it came to a complete end. And they're trapped. The hangman is here. One of these people could be, you know, got caught and they just feel stuck in life. Another person could be literally going to jail. Like facing jail time or prison time for whatever they did. Ten of Cups is here. And then Nine of Pentacles is here. Two of Cups. So yeah, they're definitely coming towards you. Two of Cups is here. It's like they want to partner up with you, work with you, but they have some type of regret. 
this person feel like they're going to be rejected. And um, it's because they were keeping their self at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. Two of Wands. 